Hi everybody, I'm your friend Tara and welcome back to another episode of Animal Talk. Where are these sneaky monkeys hiding? Can you believe that there are over 260 species of monkey and I can't even find one of them? Howler monkey, spider monkey, baboons. Oh, there's too many monkeys to do in one episode. So that's when I came up with the idea to do a series called Monkey Business. Monkeys are separated into two groups, the Old World Monkeys and the New World Monkeys. Old World Monkeys live in Africa and Asia. New World Monkeys live in South America. Which one of these words do you think is used to describe a group of monkeys? Tribe, mission, troop, barrel, carload. Hmm. Any of these words is used to describe a group of monkeys. Most people think monkeys only live in trees. But some monkeys, like baboons, prefer to live on the ground. Lemurs, chimpanzees, and gorillas are not monkeys. But like monkeys, they do belong to the primate family. Monkeys are very clever and smart. They can be taught to use tools, do tricks, like even ride a bike. The smallest monkey in the world is called a pygmy marmoset. They're about the size of a hamster, and they are so cute. The largest monkey in the world is called a mandrill. A mandrill weighs up to 70 pounds. Monkeys live between 10 and 50 years in the wild. Monkeys like to eat seeds, flowers, fruit, eggs, and insects. What type of monkey is that? My friends, that's a proboscis monkey. In this episode of Monkey Business, I'll be talking about the proboscis monkey. A proboscis monkey is an old world monkey, and it's known for their long nose. Proboscis monkeys have that long nose to attract the females, and when the noise bounces around in their long nose, it makes a much louder noise to scare away the predators. Proboscis monkeys are excellent swimmers, and can be found living in the jungles of Borneo. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Animal Talk. Bye for now, and I'll see you real soon.